Hello friends, Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink, finally getting a chance to ink up these fabulous dragonfly images from Honeybee's Dragonfly stamp set. As always, I didn't know which one to use, so I was like, I'm going to use all three. <laughs> so I'm stamping them onto, I think, I think this is Bristol Smooth cardstock. I have all my white cardstocks labeled except for this one. So just by you know, process of elimination. I'm like, well, this has to be Bristol Smooth. Anyway, watercolor paper will work. Anything that handles water. Distress watercolor paper, regular watercolor paper, real Bristol Smooth, if that's what this is, <laughs> they'll work. So anyway, I put the piece of cardstock in my Misty. I used my anti-static powder tool, and then I inked up these dragonflies with Honeybee's clear embossing ink stamped them onto this cardstock and then I am going to coat these with Simon's Detail Gold embossing powder because dragonflies in gold is just oh, fabulous just fabulous so coated them with the embossing powder melted that with my heat tool which is also fabulous because metallic embossing powders as they melt it, it just there's that sense of satisfaction <laughs> It never gets old. I've been doing this for 20 years and I still love heating boss heat embossing. It's just fun. So anyway, I've got my background. I've got my dragonflies and then I just have my little plastic palette and I smushed salvage patina, prize ribbon and villainous potion distress inks onto that. And then I'm just picking up the color right now. I'm picking up the prize ribbon with just my little ranger detail water brush and painting the bodies with that. So I've got this gorgeous, intense blue that just, again, chef's kiss. These are all from the new color releases and using them together is just meant to be. So for the wings, I use the salvage patina and the villainous potion, but rather than using a water brush, I'm using my Nouveau uh, glitter gloss aqua shimmer pen. I've shown this in many videos over the years. Um, yeah, it's got clear shimmer in it. You can use it to paint over top of things, but I find if it's anything like this, like a distress ink that is obviously water reactive, um, you could watercolor it with the water brush, but then as soon as you paint over it with the glitter gloss pen, it's going to do the same thing because it's going to like move the colors around. So more often than not, I just paint with it and then I just wipe it off onto one of my cloths just to make sure that the ink like the color doesn't stay on the pen because again it's clear so I will show at the end um, I'll turn the flashlight on my phone you can just see mostly see how sparkly it is the reason I love it so much is it's very subtle depending on how the light hits it so it's not like in your face glittery but then when the light hits it it's in your face glittery <laughs> so anywho I set those aside to dry and then I took another piece of the same cardstock and I'm going to do some ink smushing with control. I don't mind like ink smushing. I've shown that in a bajillion videos like smushing onto a surface and then pressing my cardstock into it and you're just surprised by what happens. But doing it this way you get way more control. You can kind of see what you're doing and I do like this as well because it kind of helps me to not be as heavy handed as I usually am and I can have more white space and more little splotchies and all that fun stuff. So I'm using just a storage pocket to smush my ink pads onto and then splattering or spraying it with water and then pressing that onto my background. I've used acetate, um, recycled stamp packaging, all those different things, but I got to say the stamp pocket just, there's something about the way the ink sits on it that I really like. I was watching one of Nina, Nina Marie Trapani's recent videos and she had used the stamp pocket and I was like, that's how she got that like really splotchy look. And I loved it. So I wanted to try it. And yeah, I love it. So I did several different colors of distress inks. I used Twisted Citron, uh, more Salvage Patina, uh, Mode Lawn, and Forest Moss is what I'm going to go in with now. And that ends up kind of like altering this a bit. But I wanted more greens. And off camera, I actually ended up adding a bit more mowed lawn, just add a bit more color to this because I'm going to die cut these with some of Honeybee's greenery honey cuts. So I wanted green, you know, so greens with that little bit of salvage patina again, 
chef's kiss. <laughs> and ink smushing is just, it's, it's therapeutic. You know, you don't have to be an expert at coloring. You don't have to be an expert at anything. I'm not an expert. I've been doing it 20 years. I'm not an expert in nothing. I just like playing with ink and paper and wafer dyes and all the things. So, but ink smushing, it's just fun, really. So after everything was dry, I die cut it with a couple of those greenery honey cuts. The dragonflies, I die cut with the coordinating wafer dyes. And then I ran some white cardstock through my die cut machine with the A2 pierced cover plate. And it's, oh, again, fabulous. I love those. I'm just, I'm so glad Honeybee's releasing these. I hope we get like lots and lots more because I love that bit of like texture and detail you get, but it's not actually die cut. It's just, you just run it through and you're done. Love it. So I could not add splatter though, of course. I'm using salvaged, salvaged patina distress paint for my splatter. I need to remember to do this more often because I have practically every color of distress paint that's available. Um, there's something about splattering with the paint. I, I like it a lot. I get a more, uh, it sits more on, because it's a paint, it's an acrylic paint, it sits more on the top of the cardstock. Whereas when you're using inks to do splatter, the ink is going to soak in and sometimes, like normally I don't care because you guys know I add like five bajillion kinds of splatter, but the paint gives just a really nice, just a really nice splatter. That's the only way I can explain it especially when it's just on a white background. So I splattered with that paint. I set those backgrounds aside to dry. While that was drying, I worked on my sentiments. So I used the Kind Buzzword and I layered a couple um, layers with white cardstock and then I topped it with a gold matte cardstock to give it that dimension that I love. And then I die cut the outline from white cardstock as well. And I kept it in like the scrap and use that just to hold everything in place so I could quickly ink blend over it. I say quickly. It still was quick, but this is super sped up. This is like 400% faster than I normally work, you know. It still was quick. <laughs> and it looks like a hot mess because of the scrap card stock. But once I pop these out and adhere the actual word on top, it'll look fabulous. So I use those three same colors. The Salvage Patina, the Prize Ribbon, and the Villainous Potion. And just my blending brushes and blended all three onto this. And like I said, like right now, it just, it looks like just a hot mess, but I'm going to pop it out of its background, like of the, the release paper, scrap paper, whatever. And then I'll adhere the kind word in gold on top and just, oh, again, chef's kiss. It's just, I don't know, these three colors together with gold and white just makes me happy. So off camera, I ended up stamping and heat embossing and coloring one more of these dragonflies because originally I was only going to do one card, but then I was like, oh, I've got enough here. I can do two. So that's what I did. So I had colored and die cut it. And then the insides of the cards I stamped with sentiments from that same dragonfly stamp set. I stamped the sentiments with Versafine Claire Nocturne ink and then adhered this dragonfly over like kind of so it was like sitting on the sentiment on the inside of the card. And then my card front I adhered my die cut greenery pieces right onto the background. And then once I got those adhered, my little um, dragonfly, I'm going to pop up with just some thin 3D foam squares. And I'm only attaching those to the center. I'm going to pop up the wings a bit. Um, if you want to keep the wings dimensional, like I curl them a bit, but if you want to keep them dimensional, I would layer either thicker foam squares or like two pieces of foam squares underneath them just to keep that dimension so that, you know, if it goes through the mail or whatever, it's not going to get, they're not going to get flattened, but usually I don't worry about that too much. And then also I had added more sentiments from the coordinating kind buzzword set. I gold heat embossed those on black, adhered those to make my sentiments on the front. And then I added some little honeybee self-adhesive gems, just some little purple gems sprinkled throughout. And that finished off these cards. So I, like I said, I'm going to turn the flashlight on on my phone to give you guys an idea of just the sparkle on these wings. You can kind of see, again, it just, it is subtle, you know, but when the light hits it, especially um, if you have like incandescent light, that really picks it up. But you'll also see it better too, because I have it on the wings on the insides of the cards. And 
there's a little bit more space so you can kind of see it better. It's always hard to photograph and film the sparkle, but it's just fun. So yeah, inside of each card has a different sentiment from the dragonfly set. And then the outsides have different sentiments from that kind buzzword set. And there you go. There you go. See that sparkle just, oh, yes. <laughs> so yeah, these were a lot of fun to make. Subtle sparkle, pretty colors, fabulous dragonflies. As always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post. I will have a supply list with links to all the supplies I used. So if you are interested, you can check that out in the description box below the video. Thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, thumbs up and commenting, all the good things. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.